What's going on, Guardians? I have a commentary today coming at you guys. Uh, one that you guys have been requesting. I guess not directly. A lot of you guys are just always on social media or something. Poem, what do you think about the Taken King? What do you think about the trailer? Are you going to get it? Should I pre-order it? What do you think? Well, $40? Is that not extreme? I honestly look at it a few different ways, and a lot of people, for some odd reason, you value my opinion, you jackasses. And um, I guess that's excited. I'm blushing a little, but... Uh, a lot of people know my opinion and my feelings toward, and some people share my same feelings towards the balance in the game, PvP elements, and some of the, the shortcomings of Bungie. So a lot of people really want to know what I think about this. And uh, believe it or not, I'm actually looking forward to the Taken King, and I'm going to explain why. I, I, just, I just stopped. I got off my man period, and I realized that all of these things that I dislike about Bungie and the PvP are going to stay, and they're intentional. Things like blinking, unavoidable deaths like supers, rockets, fusion sticky grenades, all of these things are put in the game as handicaps to help the less skilled players to perform better. I get that. Yeah, it may like shit on 10% of the really skilled players, but for the majority of people, they benefit from it. So I'm over all of that. Now that that's out of the mix, what do I think about the actual content that is coming to the game? Well, a lot of people are a little skeptical and worried about the fact that it's a $40 thing. Now, if you do recall, a little while back, there was some leaked information that came out during a conference where not only did we get to see, and it accurately predicted, not only all the elements from the DLC that came from the original destiny base game, but it also had information on the Comet DLC, which is currently known as the Taken King, and we know that it was, in fact, Hive-oriented. The next one's going to be Vex-based, and the one after that will be Cabal. So, that's very exciting. Up until now, that came out months before we had any information on the game, and it was all accurate. I'll put the image up on your screen. You can look at it now, and you can see that Comet is kind of like the middle ground between the full base game and the actual DLCs. If you do the math and you add those up side by side, you can clearly tell that if you combine Dark Below and the House of Wolves, you pretty much get the same content out of Comet, except for, or excuse me, Taken King. And the only major difference is there are a few extra things. The difference with Taken King is you're going to probably get a massive growth in uh, exotics, armor, and weapons, which are things that we know we've seen and we've confirmed on by now, which is exciting to some people. To me, not so much because <laughs> you can throw 100 new guns in the game. Everybody's still going to use Thorn. So I'm not too stoked about that, but there are three new subclasses, three new guilds, uh, plenty of story missions to come out to last. Lots of things are being thrown in, so is the $40 price tag justified? Yes. Is it scary to spend it all at once? Yes, but in my opinion to me, this is basically Destiny 2. It's a continuation, and from what we've known, from what we've seen and confirmed from them, they know that every game that comes out from Destiny from here on out is in fact going to be a continuation of the previous title slash DLC. So, from what I read in that article, all your progress earned from Destiny 1 and all the DLCs will actually roll over to Destiny 2 when it comes out, and it will continue throughout the life cycle of their 10-year plan. Now, what I do know is that when it comes down to it, this offers more than the last two DLCs did. Like I said, you're going to get amazing amazing amounts of weapons that you're not used to again you got to get out of the mindset that this is just another dlc just kind of start thinking of it as being an add-on to the game a destiny 2 and you're going to start understanding and feeling a little bit better about this purchase again it's a scary thing for a 40 dollar thing it's not really common to see something like this in the video game world sometimes you'll see like remakes of previous versions go for 40 bucks or something but this is kind of an intimidating feature but again, you're going to get content well worth it. So not only do you get everything that you would have gotten from two other DLCs combined, you get the new subclasses. Those things are absolutely amazing. Have you guys seen that Titan? It's so fucking sweet. So there are lots of things that are coming in that are definitely going to change the way the game is played. Lots of new advantages for lots of different types of players. And as long as they prioritize PvP a little, as long as they start worrying about connection-based issues and many other problems, and they actually focus on fixing those things before progressing onto the new DLC and making more money, they fix the problems beforehand, I'm going to be extremely happy with it. Either way, I'm looking forward to a solid title with the Taken King. Uh, I've, I've been on the fence about it, but I've decided after doing more and more research, which is what you should do, that it should be worth your money. Uh, again, there are lots of other competitions coming out at the end of the year. You're just going to have to judge based on your wallet size 
whether or not this is something you want to add to your arsenal. And again, keep into mind, into consideration, that this game comes out a good month or two before most of the other major titles come out, like Fallout and your Battlefronts and all those other games. So this could definitely be a great game to hold you over for a couple months till those other ones come out too. So on top of that, there's of course a few other smaller things to take into consideration. I believe we're gonna be visiting Phobos, which is a moon. Uh, there is going to be, as you guys saw, a hive ship that we're actually going to be in. I believe it's called the Dreadnought. You got new game types coming in. Uh, I believe it's called Rift. And lots of things are changing. Lots of things are going to be added in. I'm, I'm just thoroughly excited to see what they can bring in because, again, like I said, this is more than your average DLC. They're going to pretty much be reworking the game and adding in pretty much six months worth of content into one right here. So thank you guys for your time. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smack the like button, subscribe for future content, swing by a stream sometime, and if you guys are looking for friends to play with and do raids and all that good stuff with, there's a link in the description down below for a Facebook page, which is perfect for finding people to hang out with and do some trials and stuff with. Take care, ladies and gentlemen. Stay moist.